The CSA this month includes a couple of patterns which require two color knitting. That is knitting two different colors in the same row, or a lot of people think of it as fair aisle knitting. But these patterns aren't as intricate as you might expect from a fair aisle pattern. But I wanted to show you a really good technique for managing your yarns when you're knitting with two colors. Now if you have a pretty comfortable technique that you like, stick with that. There's no reason you have to change. But if you want to become a little more efficient at working with two colors at once, this is a good way to do it. One of the way, one of the reasons I really like this approach to two color knitting is that not only is it more efficient, i.e. faster, um, but importantly it keeps your two yarns separate and they won't be twisting around each other constantly, which is one of the annoying things about that most people comment on about two color knitting. So <clears throat> If you're on a knit row, which you'll notice from the patterns that every time I have you change color or add a new color, I ask you to knit that row, even though predominantly the hat pattern is pearl side out. But when I have you change color, it calls for a knit row. So on a knit row, this is how you manage the two colors. You'll need to figure out how you establish your own tension. I like to wind the yarn first around my pinky and then I hold it up over the first digit of my index finger. And I do that on both sides, both my left and my right hand. So I have in this example yellow uh, coming off my left index finger and green off my right index finger. I've just knit two stitches with the green. Okay, so. I've already knit two stitches with the green, now it's time to knit two stitches with the yellow. And Again, I'm on the knit row, so I'm going to insert the needle as I ordinarily would. I'm going to grab that yellow yarn, I'm going to bring it through to the front and pop it off. Then I'm going to go into the next stitch, grab the yellow yarn, and pop that stitch off. When it's time now to knit two greens, I engage my right hand. Now it's two yellows. So you can see, as I knit this row, I'm never having to um, drop a yarn and pick the other one up, nor am I ever having to um, cross the yarns. They are staying distinctly on their own the side. It's a little bit trickier. You're still carrying one yarn on the left index finger and one yarn on the right index finger. The yarn on the right index finger is going to come to the front of the work for your purl. Okay, that's a pretty typical pearl, and of course you have to bring that yarn back to the back again for the next color. In this case, the yarn is coming off the left index finger. Now this pearl is a little bit trickier, it's called the continental pearl. And to do the continental pearl, you're going to insert the tip of the right needle coming behind the yarn that's on the index finger into the stitch as if you were going to pearl. You're going to come point the tip of the needle skyward, kind of like a rocket, swing it around to the back, grab the yellow yarn, bring it back to the front of your work, and then pull the stitch off the needle. So let me show you that again. Coming behind the yarn, the tip of the right needle comes behind the yarn on your left index finger and goes into that stitch as if to purl. Then you point your right hand needle upward just so that you can kind of bring it around to the back behind the work, you're going to scoop up the yarn, the yellow yarn, bring it back to the front, and then running the tip of the right hand needle under the along the belly of the left hand needle, you bring the tip to the back and then pop the stitch off the needle. Now I'm ready for the two greens which are back on my right hand index finger. So I'm going to bring the yarn to the front and I'm going to insert the stitch. This this stitch probably looks a little bit more like what you're used to. I do those two purls, bring that yarn to the back, get it out of the way. Now I'm ready for two more yellows. So I bring the tip of the right hand needle behind the yellow yarn that's on my index finger and I insert it through the stitch I want to knit as if I was going to purl it. Now I have to come back and grab this yarn that's back here on the index finger. So to do that, I'm going to tip the needle, the right needle skyward, scoop it around the back as if I'm writing a, a backwards figure eight, grab the yarn, bring it back to the front, and now I need to bring that yarn through this hole here. So I'm going to think about 
scraping the tip of this right hand needle along the belly, scratching it right along the belly of my left hand needle. And what's important at this next stage is when you bring your tip out from this, uh, from scratching the belly, you don't want to bring it to the left of the yarn off your index finger. You want to bring it to the right of the yarn on your left index finger and then pop the stitch off. Okay, so tip of the right hand needle behind the yarn on the left index finger. Insert the tip as if you were going to purl that stitch. Go back and grab that yarn in a counterclockwise direction. Bring that yarn back to the front of your work. Now scratch the belly of the left needle. When you bring the right tip out from that um, scratching the belly, be sure it's to the right of your left hand yarn and pop the stitch off. Okay, now I'm ready for two green, so I'm going to bring the yarn to the front, the green yarn to the front, and I'm going to purl these stitches as you ordinarily would. Then bring it to the back and get it out of the way. And now I've got two more yellows to do. Behind the left hand, the yarn on the left hand needle, the left hand index finger, through the stitch, go back, grab the yarn, bring it back to the front, and scooch it out under the belly. So it's like this. And it looks like a lot of steps, but it actually is very simple. And importantly, you can see how it keeps the two yarns separated. Okay, and it is very efficient once you get the knack of it. So I want to show you the technique for twisting the yarns or catching the yarn in if you have to carry it over more than four stitches. So I've knit a few stitches here with the green. Um, if we, for example, pretend that our pattern requires us to knit one yellow, we've knit that just the way I showed you before, and then say there are five greens before we need the yellow again. I would not typically knit five greens and just carry the yellow on the back side because that creates too long of a float, again, one that will catch fingers or jewelry. So instead, it's important to twist or hold the yellow in place midway through your long stretch. So if I'm doing five stitches before I need the yellow again, over the third stitch, I'm going to catch the yellow in. And when you're doing this two-colored two-stranded knitting, this is how you do it. You insert the tip of your right needle as if you're about to knit your green yarn, but before you wrap the green yarn around the needle, you're going to lift the yellow yarn up toward you and knit with the green behind the yellow. And then when you, as you pull the green stitch through the, the, green, the new green stitch through the old green stitch, you relax the yellow yarn and it falls to the back side again. And so let me show you that again in slow motion. You insert as if you're going to knit that stitch, which you are, but before you do, raise the yellow up out of the way, so bring it toward you. I'll even exaggerate the motion this time so you're looking at sort of the back side of the work. Knit with the green behind the yellow, drop the yellow back into place and bring the stitch the green stitch through to the front. So here it is again, one stitch regular. And now here I'm going to catch that yellow in place again. So before knitting the stitch, I bring the yellow up out of the way. And again, I'm exaggerating by turning this so far in the direction that you can sort of see what I'm doing behind the scenes here. Wrap the green, drop the yellow, and pop off the stitch. Raise the yellow, knit the green behind it raise the yellow out of the way, knit the green behind it. And then when you're ready for the yellow, it's there and ready for you to just pick the stitch. Okay? 